What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUp Free Essentials. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about how to model a fence in SketchUp. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. So a fence is an excellent example for how you can um, basically create things using copies in SketchUp because it's an example of repeating objects. And so what I wanna do is I wanna start by drawing my vertical posts. And so we're going to start by drawing a single vertical post. So we're going to tap the R key in order to draw a rectangle. We're going to say these vertical posts are going to be 3.5 inches by 3.5 inches. So what you're going to do is you're going to tap the R key and you're going to click on the origin point right here. You can, by the way, tap the up arrow key to lock this to the blue axis. But I'm going to move my mouse and I'm going to type in a value of three and a half, comma, three and a half, and that's going to draw my first fence post. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna push pull this up to whatever the height of my fence is going to be. In this case, we're gonna say that it's four feet, six inches high, just as an example. And so I'm gonna take this whole thing, right click on it, and I want to copy this. But before I do it, I wanna make sure that I've grouped this geometry in a way that it's not going to merge all together so it's very difficult to edit later. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna right click and we're gonna make this a component and we're just gonna call this vertical post. We're gonna hit the OK button. What we've done is we've created that as a component. And what that means, and I'll show you how to copy this in a second, what that means is if you create a copy of this object, all of the different copies are going to change together. That's very valuable if you end up or, uh, making changes to your design in the future. But now, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna use the move tool in copy mode in order to create a copy. So I'm just gonna tap the M key right here and I'm gonna click on this corner. Now notice when I click on this corner, this is moving my post, which is not what I want. What I want is to create a copy of this object. So I'm gonna tap the control key right here and then I'm gonna type in a value. Notice how when I tap the control key and I type in a value like eight feet or whatever, and hit the enter key, that's going to create a copy rather than moving your original. So now what I wanna do is I wanna create these horizontal supports. So to do that, we're just going to um, use our guides. So I'm gonna activate the tape measure tool right here, and I'm gonna assume that this post is, go or this support is going to be a certain height. So remember that you need to tap control in order to be in create guide mode with the tape measure tool. And um, we're gonna go ahead and click on this point right here, but notice how that's gonna allow me to create a guide. And in this case, I'm assuming this is going to be, we're actually gonna do this one foot six inches off the ground. So I'm gonna type in a value of one foot six right here. Then I'm gonna assume my other support's gonna be one foot six down like this. And we'll probably have the boards go down and up like this probably doesn't matter for this exercise. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to draw a line out. So I'm gonna tap the L key, I'm gonna draw a line out like this. And I'm assuming this is going to be an inch and a half, or actually I'm assuming this is going to be, yeah, I'm assuming this is gonna be an inch and a half. We'll just say that this is a two by four. I don't know that it's actually going to be a two by four in the real world, but you can model this to whatever dimensions you want. But I'm just gonna draw a line up, call it three and a half inches. Then I actually usually use the rectangle tool in order to close this in like this. But what we've done is we've created our support board and we're ready to push pull it. And so in this case, I'm gonna push pull this support board like this so that it aligns with the middle of my object then I'm gonna orbit around and I'm gonna push pull this again and align it with the middle of this post right here. And I'm just gonna take this whole thing, triple click. Uh, triple click selects all um, connected geometry in an object like this. And then I'm gonna make this a component. And in this case, I'm gonna call this support post. Hit the enter key. And actually I'm going to move this down. So I'm just gonna tap the M key and I'm just gonna align it with the middle of this guide. Then I'm gonna tap control to go into copy mode. We're gonna do the same thing again. So now we've got two copies in here. Now, depending on the kind of fence that you're creating in here, you're gonna have different kinds of pickets. And so in this case, I'm assuming this is just going to have very simple pickets. So what I wanna do is I want to model out a picket. And in this case, I'm assuming that this picket is going to go all the way to the ground. And in reality, you'd probably hold this up off the ground a little bit, but for what we're doing right here, I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm just going to draw a three and a half inch 
pick it right here. And notice how I'm just drawing a line up and then down so that we can fill in this face. And our picket is going to have a thickness. And in this case, I'm gonna say it's gonna have an, a thickness of maybe we'll call it half an inch. So I'm not even sure if that thickness is right, but we're gonna go ahead and go with it for right now. And then I'm gonna take this and remember that it's very important that you group this geometry. And in reality, we don't just wanna group it, we want to make it a component because this is gonna be a number of copies of the same thing. And we're just gonna call this picket and hit the enter key. So now I've got a copy of this picket and we can work on creating our fence. And so what you don't wanna do is you don't just wanna use the move tool over and over and over again like this, partially because you might want a little bit of a gap in here, um, but also partially because you're just gonna be repeating a lot of effort. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create one copy. So I'm gonna use the move tool in copy mode, M key, click on the corner, tap control, and then I'm gonna move this off by maybe an eighth of an inch. So I'm just gonna type in a value of an eighth of an inch. What that does is that gives me a little bit of a gap in here on my fence. So um, you may or may not actually create a gap in here, but for what we're doing right now, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do that. So now what I can do is I can use the move tool in copy mode, tap the control key, and notice how I don't have to set a base point on my object. So I can tap control and I can set a base point right here. And notice how when I do that, I can move my mouse from this point to this point, and notice how I'm getting that same space in here. So I'm gonna click like this. Now, before I do anything else, what I wanna do is I wanna type in times or star and a number of copies. So if I type in times 10 or times 20 or times 25, notice how this is creating a certain number of copies for me like this. And so this allows me to really quickly create an array of these copies in here um, in order to make up my fence. And remember, because these are components, this is actually really valuable because if I make a change to one, notice how that change is going to be reflected across all of them. And so what I can do is I can draw a line, maybe down, call it three quarters of an inch and across, call it three quarters of an inch. I'll draw a line across this face and I'll draw a three quarters of an inch line here. Whoops. And here, and notice what that does is that allows me to push pull this across like this. And I can push pull this back in order to remove this material. So this gives me the ability to create the tops of this fence. And you can have some fun with this geometry. Like if I select these two edges, for example, and then I move them down. If I do that properly, I can use this to kind of adjust um, the cut that's in here. I don't really want to mess around with that too much right now, but you do have the ability to do that. And so then if you wanted to, you could just kind of continue this fence. So what I would do in this situation is if I wanted this fence to get longer, I would just select these objects right here. I would use the move tool in copy mode. And actually I probably wouldn't select this post, but I'm just gonna use the move tool in copy mode and I'm gonna tap the control key. And I'm gonna move this across like this. And remember that you can use the middle mouse button to orbit while a tool is active. And I'm just going to create this copy right here and type in times three and hit the enter key. Notice what that's done is that's come in here and that's created three copies of this. Now let's say just for a second that we wanted to create a fence that had a little bit more spacing on our objects. So instead of having a solid fence like this, let's say that we wanted to create something a little bit different. So I'm just gonna use the move tool in copy mode, move this across, and we're just gonna pick this middle point. And so I'm just going to move this over like this, align it with this central point. And in this case, instead of creating a copy every, instead of creating a solid fence, what I might do instead is I wanna take this and make a little bit different style of a fence. And so first off, what I wanna do is I'm gonna take this component, right click on it, and I wanna make it unique. So when I make it unique, basically what I've done is I've broken the link between this post and these posts right here. And I'm just going to, instead of having this come up like this, I'm going to have it come to a point. So I'm just gonna move this down. And I'm not being ultra precise with this, I just want this to be triangular. But I'm just gonna push pull this across like this, and we're good. So we've now got this one picket. Well, in this case, what I wanna do is I wanna create equally spaced copies between this point 
at this point. So I'm going to select this, tap the M key and tap control and move my mouse. I'm gonna hold the shift key to lock this to the red axis. I'm gonna find this central point right here. Well, now I'm gonna type in the forward slash, type in a number of copies. So I'm gonna type in divided by 10. And notice how this is still live, meaning I can type in divided by 15, divided by 20, divided by four, whatever I want. And as long as I don't click off of this tool, I can try different iterations in here. In this case, I liked the way that the 15 works. So we're gonna go ahead and leave that like that. But that allows me to create equally spaced copies between two points instead of creating multi multiplicative copies of objects like this one right here. And then from here, you can start doing really interesting things. So now that you understand things like components, I could make this one unique and I could start adding different arcs maybe. So something like this. And in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use the flip tool. So I'm gonna find flip. We're gonna drag this over here. Remember to tap the control key to go to copy mode, but notice how that allowed me to create a copy of this arc, but I can push pull this across like this, and you can start creating more complex fence posts. Like that. Lots of different things you can do once you understand the move tool and copy mode, arrays, which is multiple copies, and also components. All right, so that's where I'm in this video. Leave a comment below, let me know what you thought. If you have any questions about this tutorial, I just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.